welcome to a special Cable 14 interview called Cat Hour. I'm your host, Alice, and today I'm going to be speaking with a special guest, Evelyn, who happens to be a local feline expert and a big fan of cats, too. Welcome, Evelyn. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Cats have been with us a long time. Back in ancient Egypt, the people used to worship cats. They even had a cat goddess named Bastet. Then Phoenician traders started selling cats and breeding them for people other than Egyptians. People loved having cats around because they killed mice and rats. And today they are still worshipped and adored pets. So Evelyn, maybe you can start by telling us a little about what makes cats so special? Absolutely. One thing that makes cats amazing is that they can actually calm you down with their purring. And if you're afraid of insects and mice, well, no problem. They kill them. They are also a huge help on farms because they keep the rodent population down. And when you have a cat, you have a friend to be with you. You will never be alone. They really are fantastic pets. But is it true that some people are afraid of black cats? That's incredible. Those fears come from very old beliefs and witches. But it's total nonsense. Black cats are so adorable, and trust me, they are perfectly safe. Well, I happen to agree. So I was wondering, Evelyn, what is your favorite cat breed? Mine is the Scottish Strait. They come from the same litters as Scottish fold cats, only their ears are straight. Scottish fold cats are cats bred with their ears folded over. Oh, that's easy. Mine is the munchkin breed. Their legs are so stubby. They actually love jumping, even with their short, leg, short legs. Oh, munchkin. The name alone sounds cute, like the cat. Now let's move on to some more cat care facts. What are some important tips for someone who owns a cat? Well, always remember to take them to the vet at least twice a year. At, and they need l l exercise and lots of attention. It's also recommended to keep them indoors for their protection and to protect birds. This is especially true in the spring when there are so many baby birds around. That leads us to some downsides to getting a cat. In addition to their risk to bird populations, Cats also have some annoying habits. They're litter box problems, of course, and aggressiveness. One way to deal with aggressiveness is to get a cat whose mother had humans be kind to her. That's a meowsing. Another problem is, of course, allergies. But you can deal with, by that with getting a Siberian cat. They have less dander than other breeds. Well, you have shared some fascinating facts about one of our most popular pets, but we are out of time. It's been cat terrific talking with you today, Evelyn. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. I hope I have a cat, I mean, I hope you have a catastic day too. And if anyone out there wants to learn more about cats, check, about, check on your local library for books on our feline friends. And remember, there are many wonderful cats in need of homes, your local rescue and, rescue and human society. Well, this has been a perfect Cable 14 special cat hour with our guest and feline expert, Evelyn. I'm your host, Alice. Thank you for watching.